beautiful Capricorns. It's Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. Here to do your music reading for the new wolf moon in your sign on the 11th of January 24. So the full moon in your sign, Capricorn, will be an ideal time to look at your goals, get some clarity on your goals and have the right intentions for the new year because uh, it is a time for culmination and fulfillment. Now, your emotions and intuition will be heightened around this time. So you're going to see things more clearly where you want to take your music. This wolf moon is also a time to feel compassionate with others, to be generous and feel empowered in yourself. Now, it does have some selfishness and greed that comes into play with these energies. Any events that are impacting your creativity and self-expression that occurred in the last Leo's new moon may bring full circle moments. So it may come up again for you. Now we have the beautiful activation card. So all about speaking your truth, I'm feeling. It's the angel, Eahel and Labradorite. I love that crystal. Uh, it's all about individuality and it's saying to you, I delight in being me. I embrace my quirks and eccentric eccentricity. Sorry, When I am truly myself, I come from a place of self-love that allows others to receive and love me. As I discover and express my true self, I step fully onto my life path and fulfill my higher purpose. As I love and honour my real nature, I listen to my intuition and give priority to what matters most to my soul. So doing what you love and being true to yourself in 2024. Now we have from the Lenormand cards, the mice. The mice is your second house of money. And uh, it does indicate that you've been feeling a little bit fatigued. You know, things have been annoying you, little annoyances. And uh, you've been worried possibly about money in December. November, December, you know, it could be because uh, you're finding it hard to get some jobs or you're unemployed, whatever the case may be for you guys. Now, it's insert the seven of spades. Another interpretation of this card is, you know, that you're seeing the inner workings of your mind through um, intoxicating yourself, you know, some go with the theme of sex, drugs and rock and roll. And, uh, you know, it could be, um, spirits or alcohol once you allow things to interfere with the way you are thinking and this is why you need some clarity it can lead you down a muddy path here Capricorn and it's, you know what you shouldn't express in yourself and you're not speaking truthful so as with all addictions whether it's in relationships or alcohol um, smoking whatever the case may be uh, perhaps something that you're eating that doesn't agree with you. Admitting that there is a problem that exists in yourself is a harder step. <coughs> so this correlates to the card that represents lies, deceit and grief. And the hardest thing to do in life is to face yourself for who you are. You know, flaws and all. And this is not going to be for everybody. Um, it is for the collective and I'm only going to be able to connect with certain energies out there. But, you know, however, once you're able to do so, you can transform yourself and lean into your greatest potential, which is your music. You have to be honest with yourself first. And, you know, this is the message of the Seven of Spades because it brings to you and wants you to attain your music in order to be happy. And the potential to change is always present, okay? So don't think you can never change because you can. You know, you may be be overindulging in certain foods that don't agree with you, that are upsetting you and aging you in some way. Now, the lily is not referring to a routine job, but, you know, it could be a nine-to-five employment. Some of you may work in a, an office of music. It could be to do CDs, it could be management, um, anything to do with music, or it's just your nine-to-five employment. 
and doing everyday tasks. And it can suggest that your vocation or your purpose or your independence uh, is being more entrepreneurial with your work and work activities. You know, you just have to take the messages of this card seriously and use it to your advantage. You may want to give that day job away and uh, start concentrating on your music. Now, uh, you've got the Queen of Spades insert there, and it's likely to succeed in your career because you want to pursue something. You know, you want the motivation to find out what you don't know and the ability to charm others with your quick wit and your intelligence. Okay, so maybe you just, you know, not feeling your day job at the moment. You just want to do something that you're passionate about. Now, the star is a lucky card because it indicates that the dreams you have uh, had for your future are coming true. So it will show how well others respect you and it doesn't matter whether you're famous or not. It's just even if, you know, you're famous in your field. But, excuse me, this uh, card is encouraging you to move forward in life. Maybe you're going to take up a new career path. It's possible because there's... Six of Hearts insert is saying people are not that amb ambitious, okay? You prefer to work only as much as you need to just to support uh, yourself or your family or maybe to get that guitar or that drum kit and then you don't have a job because I remember I said it's finding work and um, being unemployed, that type of energy. Some of you do have a day job but you're not feeling it at the moment. So, you know, you are, uh, you're not that ambitious. It's probably a hobby to some of you guys. Now we have the beautiful moon, which is my artist card. And, you know, this is a card. It's great if you're looking for fame, okay? It doesn't mean you have to be famous celebrity, but it does mean you'll receive recognition. Uh, the moon can also indicate romance and the feelings that are associated with romance, but it can also represent creative endeavours. So you could be writing a book of songs or, you know, you're doing a music and art project. But, you know, I feel you may be staying up late on social media. Not enough sleep is causing you insecurity um, and depression. So, you know, you're looking for an emotional security in your music, Capricorn, but... I do feel like you're going to be honoured in some way, though. You know, it's strange because um, you're having issues with money, you're having issues with addictions, but you may have um, possible unemployment or you're going to end an affair because you're under so much pressure to achieve your goals. But you've got a long-established career here, Capricorn, and I do feel like you will receive a Lifetime Achievement Award despite all that's going on. So look for that peace and harmony in your life. Uh, you're, you will be able to move forward with your music. So I'm sending love and blessings your way, and I will see you next month. Love, love to you all. Bye for now.